guilty that marijuana today is much different than the marijuana from the 60s. The THC level, the, the active psychoactive ingredient that gets people high in the 60s that people were smoking back then was 1.6% THC. The marijuana people are smoking today is well over 12%. So the marijuana today is 10 times more potent than it was back in the 60s. <clears throat> and really, today's marijuana is so different than the marijuana of the 1960s and 70s. It's not your Woodstock weed anymore. It's been genetically uh, bred to be much more increased in terms of the active ingredient THC. And what we're worried about is that there's an industry that's actually going to be selling gummy bears, lollipops. What we often hear is that marijuana today is a lot stronger than it was, uh, let's say, a generation or so ago. Is it more potent right now, and could that make it yeah. more addictive? I think it's safe to say that it is more potent right now. We spent some time with the uh, marijuana potency project. There's a farm down in Mississippi uh, where they analyze the the marijuana that is confiscated in, in various places. And you know, if if back in the 60s and 70s, uh, marijuana was closer to 1% THC, uh, the average is higher, uh, even above 10%, 10 to 13% THC now. Uh, the doctor down there said they have found t they have found marijuana with with THC concentrations as high as 37%. So there, there has been this breeding of the plant to try and increase the THC. So I think that that's true. Whether or not that makes it more addictive is a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit of a tougher question to answer. Certainly if you talk to the scientists at the National Institute on Drug Abuse, which we did, they believe that a higher potency marijuana will be more addictive. But, you know, it, it's, this has been a difficult thing to prove. Uh, so theoretically it seems so, but we haven't seen that absolutely clinically yet.